hi hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna be learning the basics of neural network okay so we're gonna be learning some you know um a uh, few things about human uh, neural uh, network and we're gonna be learning the artificial neural network and how both relate to one another and we're gonna be building our own artificial neural network okay so and i think uh, you guys will enjoy it okay so let's get started um in previous video uh just like a recap you know we we talk about uh random forest and we did all of this if you have not seen that video i, I will advise you to go and watch it you know there's a lot of information in there so i'll put the video up here uh, so that we can look at it so in today's video what are we going to learn so we're going to um uh learn artificial neural network what are artificial neural network okay um, because you know ANN is what almost everybody talks uh, about right so then if we have artificial neural network right how does that uh, work with human neurons right because we have neurons in our head that we, we use to make decisions that makes our brain to work right is there any similarities between human neural network right and uh, uh, artificial neural network so we're gonna look at that and i think this is gonna be fun no uh, like really good information in here so then we're gonna also learn how artificial neural network works we're gonna look at some applications of neural network um i'm gonna talk about this one uh pre-trained ann um model then after that we are gonna um talk about building uh, and training our own neural artificial neural network okay so let's get started um so the first thing is what are neural networks okay so this is you know uh, both artificial ne uh, neural network and uh human neural network okay so neural uh neural network a system inspired by human brain that are designed to recognize patterns all right so neural uh, networks you node know, are designed to recognize patterns right so the reason why you are able to know to differentiate between the image of a dog and the image of a cat is because of the neurons in your head because the neurons in your head have kind of mastered what a dog look like and what a cat looks like okay so um and when we have artificial neural network that is exactly what we are trying to do with artificial neural network to kind of mimic how the brain works you know to be able to do the same thing okay so for human uh neural network uh, we have um uh, neurons you know that uh, transmit information okay uh we're gonna learn more about that uh um shortly okay so we have neurons you know in in our brain because we have we have a lot of neurons so they, they need to communicate you know, and all of that uh, for artificial neural network we have computational models inspired by biological neural network okay so we're gonna look more into that okay just like a diagram okay so you can see this one is one neuron in your brain okay so we like an average human being has billions of uh, neurons by the way so this is how the structure of the uh, uh, neuron is right so like the neurons is like this now we, we, we have the dendrite so the dendrite is what a neuron used to get uh, information from another neuron because this this is just one neuron right so these neurons are actually connected to one another like billions of them right so for this neuron to communicate to another so it uses the dead right to get information right then it passes the information through here then it uses uh, synapses right to communicate with other neurons so this is the input this kind of right here is the processing and this is the output right so and this uh, all like this like a biological neuron so like the activity is like uh, chemicals right you know activities now for artificial neurons right so this is like neuron neuron neuron, neuron xn so 
then it, it will do some calculations introduce some bias then we get the output so you don't you don't need to worry yourself about all these calculations right because the the uh, the models will take care of it but this is me just showing you that this is what a biological neuron work looks like which is what you have in your head <laughs> and this is what artificial neural uh, like neurons look like which is what we uh, use you know in models you know like ChatGPT, you know uh, you know like all these you know um, uh, large models okay um, okay so let's now try to understand some of the characteristics of human neurons okay so neurons are the basic uh, units of the brain okay neurons are the so for your brain to work you need neurons and you have billions and billions of them so the ne so the neuron is able to receive information process it and transmit it through electrical and chemical signals right just like i said in here you know input process and output okay so then the key part are the dead right the cell body the axon and the synapse all right i will show you an image very soon an average human brain has 100 billion neurons that is really interesting right um so this is the structure of uh like neurons again okay so you can see this is a neuron and this is another neuron okay so you can see that they are trying to connect to each other so the dendrite is used for receiving information from another neuron okay so you see this neuron here uses its own dendrite to receive information from this neuron right then axon is used for transmitting messages to other neurons okay so you see we, we use that you not know, to transmit like the information moves through the body of the neuron right which is the axon then the synapse is the tiny space where communication where neurons communicate to one another which is this side right so probably when, when you are in the exam hall and you are, you are trying to remember something you know you know and it's very hard you're trying to struggle so what your brain is trying to do is the neurons are trying to communicate through the synapse okay so once you get it so that means like this neuron that like the neurons that have the information in your head are kind of connected if you don't get it that means they are not connected right so how you can see in here it kind of magnified so this is what what is happening there is information which is this signal coming from here and then the information the, like this is a synapse uh, then you transmit the information then the information will come here right so that's how our brain works okay hopefully you guys understand that so now we know how uh human neurons work so then how does artificial neural network works right the one that we create with computer programs okay so ENS are composed of layers interconnected uh, interconnected nodes right so it it contains nodes just like the nodes that we have in our decision trees right uh, so and those nodes are called neurons right so they're not the biological neuron that we have in our head but it's just like a representation of the neuron that we have uh, each node take input right process it and passes it to the next layer just like the biological neuron right this one each neuron also take input we process it and passes it to the next layer just the way that the uh we use dendrite to take like one neuron use dendrite to take information this one also used uh, um uh like take uh, input right they will process it right then we'll pass it to, to the next layer just like the way that we use the synapse in our head to pass information from one neuron to, to another that is the way this works too then we have input layer hidden layers output layer are we are we um explain that right so uh you remember for human brain we have 100 billion neurons okay so for artificial neural network we can have any number of uh neurons like 100 billion 200 billion 300 billion 
depending on the capacity of uh, your system okay so you can see this is how this look like see this is what we are trying to simulate so this is going to be the so like these are all the nodes which are all the neurons okay these are all the neurons okay so the input layer takes information so these are all the inputs the hidden layer will process the information and find patterns okay remember we said like a neural network is used for finding patterns then the output layer will find the final answer okay so we can see this is the input all the input neurons we have the same thing in our um, biological neurons in our head then we have the processing you know and you know sending information we also have that which is the our axon axon right then we have the output which in our head is the uh they are the dendrites okay so hopefully you guys understand the difference between the human neurons and the artificial neurons that we create with our computer all right so now we want to compare um both together you know to, to see if there are uh, some similarities you know which which one is good you know uh, which one is the best of course probably human neurons are the best <laughs> no we'll see okay so the mechanism so like the mechanism is just the way how it works okay so for human neural networks so neurons communicate through electrochemical signals okay so you see like the dendrite you know the axon you know the um the synapses right so the information that passes through they are chemical they are electrochemical information like they have signals you know uh, like they have charges you no know, positive charge negative charge and all of that right because you you, you see that when, when they plug if they plug human uh head you know to like a screen or human art you know you, you can see those things coming up and down like those are signals that travels through the human uh, system right so they are electrochemical signals and that's what you see when you go to the uh, to the hospital you you see some signals on the on the i forgot the name of the device right um so you you see the let's the uh the signal there so those are electrochemical signals right so for neurons you know neurons do they don't like artificial neurons they don't have a chemical signal because it's a computer right <laughs> computers don't have chemicals no so all like all what computer understand is just zeros and ones so figures right so the, uh, the neurons are represented by mathematical computations all right so for intelligence humans are highly adaptable and capable of generalizing from few examples so what is this is trying to say is that humans can learn ev everything we, we can learn different things you know at the same time you know you, you can learn how to cook you can learn how to take care of the house you can learn mathematics english and all the stuff like that so but for artificial intelligence most of them are specialized in specific tasks you know after extensive training right you know like you you see a robot that can do only one thing you know you you see you know an application that can do just only one thing right um so but um artificial neural network are actually improving a lot you know you see chat now can do a lot of things but it still cannot do what humans can do but you know um they are improving on the uh artificial neural network maybe one day artificial neural network will be able to do everything that human uh, does we don't know but for now uh ai right ai right is not as smart as human but that will probably change the learning speed human can learn quickly from few examples you know uh, incorporate incorporate emotions and experiences uh, but for uh, AI, which is like a ANN, it required like data set and many iterations to learn, right? But it, it does learn very fast if the computer is fast, right? So for, for learning speed, I'll probably say that ANN learns faster than humans, right? Because for now, if you have a novel of 1000 pages, if I give you the novel to read and summarize for me, 
it will probably take you days. If I give that same novel to an AI, to like a ChatGPT, it will read it in two minutes. Read everything in two minutes and give me a summary. So in learning speed, I think AI is better than human. Learning capacity. Like I said, humans have approximately 100 billion neurons, right? You know, there is a limit to what we can uh, store in our head. And there is actually, I, I, I read something online that humans actually, humans actually use only 10% capacity of our brain. That is, we only use 10%. There is still a lot for us to use, but we can never use everything. I don't know why, right? But the learning capacity of air of ANN, you know, uh, for 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 ChatGPT is like 175 billion parameters, right? Which you know it increases day by day, you know. So this one, the learning capacity of ANN can increase, but the learning capacity of human cannot increase. You know, it's it's like how God created us, you know. You know like you have specific number of neurons so in this area too you know as technology uh, like um evolves right uh ai will probably have more learning capacity just imagine an ai with one trillion uh, neurons it is possible you know so um, that's the comparison between the two by the way okay so applications of neural networks you know so these are something that we know for recognition image and speak recognition uh in syria and google assistant right so for an uh, an ai to recognize an image right so it, it will pass through the input layer right the uh, the input neuron that i just showed you then it will go to the hidden layer the hidden layer is where it will find the pattern and after the hidden layer then the output layer is where it will tell you whether the image is dog or not if you remember the first video where we recognize dog uh, or like any image right this is how uh, that works okay so it can be used for me medical diagnosis to detect tumors predict pa patient outcomes you know and aid pers personalized medicine uh self it can be used in self-driving cars nlp and market predictions okay so these are the steps you know for training an ai so we collect data we define our architecture we compile it we train it we evaluate it right i will show you guys um we're gonna actually code our own ai so we're gonna sh i'm gonna show you all these steps okay um so okay so i think that's the end of this part of the video so this is just to explain to you ann and how it relates to uh email neuron so now the next video we are going to actually um, uh, build and train our own ai in google collab right to identify digits you know and the digits are the uh, M uh, mnist data set right i will show you guys that okay so if you don't want to miss that please check the next video and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification and share with people you know if you like this content okay i'll see you in the coding part